All right, we're being recorded now. Um, as uh, it's a week from yesterday, <laughs> so so we're we are right on it, and uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. Registration still in the low two hundreds, but that's that's a good number, um, and it's a, a good uh, good turnout for Grand Rapids. Um, I'm expecting we're we're going to see that because. Um, there's there's fewer distributors, but they're they've registered a lot of clients. Um, I think we're like at 85, 85 to eighty nine uh, distributor companies and one hundred and thirty or so um, clients that are registered so far. Hard to say if we're going to get an uh, any any big push. Um, I what I'm nervous about is online or um, registration on site which uh, I need to, still need to write the Excel file for and, and set up the uh, the printing of the uh, the labels from that. Nervous um, because of the, the possible rush of people or? Yeah, of, of people that um, just plain haven't registered. Uh, okay. So, um, I'm, I'm expecting that uh, the SAGE badges are going to come in you know they'll all be alphabetized already, so we'll just need to uh, to color code them and and, uh, and set them out and and have that that system set up. Mm -hmm. um, I've set up the let's see changeover. Is everybody on a computer? Yes. Okay. Uh, this this is the uh, the floor plan. Uh, sorry, it's kind of small, um, but uh, we we've, we've got the the grand room filled, and I've asked them for four tables with eight chairs um, across the front there, and we're going to have to get get that organized for pre-registered badge pickup, and get it organized for on-site registration. And of course, on-site registration takes a little bit longer. Um, so it's a matter of, you know, how do we set that up? How many people are we going to need? Um, I've got two printers that I can bring, that I can bring with me. Um, we could look into getting a Dymo type label printer if, if that would help. But um, I think what we're looking at is probably uh, one computer and one, one printer unless... Uh, well, I'll have my computer with me if you're gonna bring a printer. Okay, we can bring uh, two printers to two computers. I think we need out of the four tables. I think we, uh, we, uh, we just split them up: two for pre-register and two for on-site registration. Awesome. You know, we'll have to. And I'll, I'll have the my printer there too, Paul. Yeah, I mean the pre-registration will have. I to mean that printer, my computer. Okay. We'll split up, you know, split the alphabet down the middle, I guess, for the two tables. Kind of funnel them, funnel them to the appropriate table. Mm-hmm. And then if you know we're finding there's more pre-registered than on-site, then you know we just switch to one computer, and that person can come over and help pre-registration. Okay. So I, I think it's just it's going to be, you know, it's just going to be a matter of, of what happens. We'll just have to roll the punches, I guess. Right. Um, one of the uh, continuing issues at at this venue is the fact that it is open to the public, and they're very very particular about the aesthetics so yeah, um, right. we have to be very cautious about not getting a lot of boxes and bags and and uh, and things laying out and always keeping the uh, the registration area looking good um, we originally had two MIPA tables right behind that wall where our registration table is I gave those up um, figuring we're just going to be too busy, and there's really no need for us to have them at the table at an end user show. Mm -hmm. um, I did get one of our hospitality suite distributors really begged for um, a supplier to to be allowed in, and um, I offered them a table at that spot right on the inside uh, where there's that opening. Um, we don't have the contract and the payment yet, but it looks like we'll have number 87 coming in. Okay. Uh, 
that's two that I've given up since I've sold said we were sold out, but <laughs> 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 hard to turn down money. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um but I think uh, you know, we're we're looking pretty good. Um on the page I sent out about uh, the volunteer needs, I'd put noon to to five. Our contract is actually one o'clock. Um, I've, I've, uh, I don't think they'll kick me out for for being there at noon, but uh, most people will be arriving at one o'clock. Um, I was hoping to get a few people earlier um, so that we could uh, uh, some of the board members who are are there. Um, so they can get their booth set up to, to help us. But um, here's what I've got uh, so far in terms of volunteers. We've got a distributor member from Grand Rapids, uh, Chris Corian, who's coming in. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff expects to get there at one. We've got three from Creative Studios, um, three distributors that are going to be available to help. Board member Julie Russell should be arriving about two. Um, John, Kelly, Brian, and probably um, Carrie uh, would be able to help us after they get their booth set up. Um, Paul and Stephanie Zafferan are coming in at three. The rest of the board members around four, and then we have a board member board meeting at four. So that's what we've got in terms of I, help for Monday afternoon. I'm probably going to get in um, between 12 and 1 now. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Jane. Mm -hmm. And then on Tuesday, um, I've listed the board, distributor board members, Julie, Dave, Steve, Jane, and Sarah. And I missed Jeff. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> and, and Jeff will obviously be there. Uh, and and we'll be, Jeff is our official uh, registration manager. And then that Chris, Chris Cor Corian also said that he would be able to join us. And then I've I will be able to help as well. Okay, perfect. Um, and then we've got uh, April and her mom and her sister um, will be available. Um, so let me go back to volunteer needs. Last year we had uh, Phil, um, Phil Rood and Tim, Tim Parks did a great job of getting all the boxes to the exhibitor spaces and helping out with, with that um, that job. Initially there's a lot of boxes that you know have been shipped in by the, the suppliers as those all have to go to the right um, right table. Uh, as suppliers are coming in they need need directions to where their their table and booth is um, and just uh, Basically, we need volunteers that, that can assist in helping them bring in their stuff, find their place, and, and keep the, the boxes cleared out and so on. Um, <clears throat> from, from our uh, volunteers, we can, we can probably uh, take care of that. I think with Jeff coming in early, we, we're probably going to be in better shape in terms of setting up the registration table um, and getting it organized. Uh, and we do have uh, the local distributor help that, that can help us with it. It's basically, we'll have the distributor and client name badges that will arrive from Sage Monday morning um, already alphabet, alphabetized. Um, so we just need to get that set up. Um, Jane, you're bringing in the, uh, the lanyards. Yep. yep, they came in yesterday. They looked really, really good. So we'll we'll be needing to do the color coding of the badges and, and lanyards, and and Jane will have have those and be bringing those in. Uh, we've got the trade show bags that that Crown supplied. Um, I've got those. I'm still crossing my fingers on clipboards. Um, I know they've been ordered, but I haven't seen the uh, the shipping notice on that yet. Um, <clears throat> I had the lead sheets printed at at Office Max, so I'll be bringing those in. Um, and then with the bags, um, you know, do we want to pre-fill them? Do we want to, we've, we've got donations from uh, subtle suppliers that are coming in. Some will be giving them out at their 
their booths. Uh, we had talked about filling bags and giving bags out in return for the people turning in their clipboards. What do we want to do about that? How many bags do we have? I believe we have 400. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have... What has been done in the past? Uh, in the past, we've just given bags uh, to people as they come in, but, you know, in the past, it's been, a, been a distributor-only show. Oh, we have, okay. I mean, we typically, we don't get this many donations for a distributor show. We want to, wow. you know, these suppliers are giving us the donations. We want to do them a solid and make sure that it gets in the proper hands. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, we we might have to we might have to fill them. I mean, that could be a game. I mean, that we when we all come in on Monday, that might be just see how much time we have. Mm -hmm. I think we should plan on trying to fill them. Okay. I think I think we should try to plan to fill them, and I I like the idea of giving them out when they turn in their sheets. Okay. Um. Getting them to turn in their sheets. Um, I'm thinking well, they're they're going to need bags to walk around the show. Is that what? Is that that's I mean, part of it? Yeah, that, so I don't know. If, I don't know if we'll be able to give it to them when they fill in their lead sheet. I mean, we might just have to have a volunteer kind of stand by the door and thank them yeah. for coming and ask for their lead sheet. I'm I'm thinking uh, that will be a good job for April or mom and her her sister. Yeah, um, I agree. I, you know, I really don't want to have a distributor collecting the lead sheets to, just from that perception, the perception. Yeah, we're, going be we're going to be collecting the clipboard, so it's just hand-in-hand hand with getting the lead sheet. Right. I, I don't think they're expecting to take a clipboard home with them. Right. And um, so if, as long as we have a non-distributor, um, whether it's a phone or, or a family or a uh, if we go outside for additional volunteers, so. yeah. So it's not a distributor picking it up. You don't want somebody seeing I what, agree. seeing you know, just again perception. You understand, right? I mean, maybe we put a sign and have one of your family members there, um, you know, kind of like a clipboard drop off type of thing, right? So that they know that they know they have to leave it there before they leave. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't think that'll be a big deal. Okay. Uh, signage for for registration. Uh, we'll have the printers there. We can we can probably create it on the fly. Yeah, and another thing too, going back to the clipboard. Once we give them the clipboard, you know, us at the registration table can say, you know, when when you're all finished, you know, I can point to where they got to go and say, you know, you'll be, you'll drop off your clipboard there and. You know, if okay. we give them instruction instruction at the beginning, I think they'll they'll get it. Perfect. So signage, you think, Jeff? We can just print as we determine what our needs are. Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. Especially, I mean, we'll keep it subtle because that's how they like it there at the garden. Right. So as as we need it, we'll print. We'll print it. Okay. We'll address that when we get there and kind of look at the layout and setup. Okay. I've got um, PayPal here uh, that I can put on my phone, and um, it worked fine at, at promotions that roared last year. Um, and I have to work out instructions for the the registration table on on who has to pay and and what they have to pay and that sort of thing. Sure. Um, once again, keeping the uh, lobby aesthetically pleasing at all times. Um, I've got uh, Vitronic notebooks and Pentel pens. I'm going to want 100 of each of those down in the um, Brewer Foundation room for the uh, for the professional development. And then any leftovers can, can come upstairs. And then um, also I've got Continental Breakfast ordered for the suppliers uh, I've got that set up for 50 on Tuesday morning um, from 7 o'clock 
on, and then for the uh, professional development, the uh, the coffee and donut services for seventy five, um, and my instructions to them is any leftovers should go upstairs. There's two areas on on the show floor for for food and beverage, and uh, being as Dutch as I am, anything left over, I might as well let our, our attendees have it. Mm -hmm. um, we'll need some sort of directionals to help people find the Pfeiffer and Hauenstein rooms. <laughs> uh, those are on the main floor and they are right next to each other. Um, the challenge is directing them to them without using the, the distributors who have rendered them, <laughs> rendered them name so hopefully uh, both competitive edge and, and complete source have you know been telling their clients that they're in Pfeiffer or Hauenstein and mm -hmm. so simple directionals to uh, to those two rooms should should do it uh, we'll probably want to have some sort of directional instruction to the uh, foundation and brewer room where the professional development is as well um, and that's just right downstairs okay and then uh, we have a four o'clock board meeting scheduled. Um, we're going to meet right in the cafe on the main level. Um, I'm assured there's a good quiet space and, and uh, it's open until five. So we should be good, good with that. If that space doesn't work out, the board could meet right downstairs outside of the foundation room. There's kind of a area with, with uh, high tops that, that we could sit around as well. Okay. We, we do have a hard stop on Monday at 5 o'clock. Um, it's grandparents' day at the gardens, and um, that starts like at, at 6 o'clock. Um, but we really need to be telling the suppliers as they come in for setup that, that 5 o'clock is a hard stop. Uh, we've always kind of slushed around with that and, and pushed it out, but, but this year we really can't. The... Uh, the gardens are good enough to let us have Monday as an early setup day without charging us for for the space. So don't want to abuse it. Yeah, that's for sure. <clears throat> and, um, I don't see Phil. Phil, you're not on the phone, are you? Okay. <laughs> um, Going to need a couple of volunteers to organize and check in the party bus at at the Country Inn. Um, we do have everything arranged now for uh, the pickup at six o'clock. Um, Perrins is expecting us at about 6.15, 6 6.20 um, in Rockford. And then uh, Founders is also expecting us and then the buses will drop off uh, either at the hotel or at Gravity uh, Tap Room, which is right out in front of the, uh, the hotel. Uh, we have just under 50 uh, people registered for it and we went with two buses again this year um, to accommodate that. I had one more email blast scheduled for Friday on the party bus. I'm going to cancel that and change that to an email of just uh, show information. Yeah, good idea. I think 50 is a yeah. manageable number. Any more than that uh, could get crazy. Yeah. Is that, how, many, how many people does the bus seat? Uh, the two buses uh, I believe are 52. Okay, and then you you have your your van if we have any. And then I've got the over. I've got the sweep van. <laughs> okay. All right. Anybody's misbehaving goes with you. Right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just on that, um, I I don't think it's a big deal, but here and I think it's actually Comstock Park, not Rockford, and there oh. is a brewery in Rockford, so I would hate for anybody to go to Rockford and end up at the Rockford Brewery instead of Perrin. Right, okay. I'll, if they weren't on the bus, just... Yeah, I'll just clarify that. You know. So you need a volunteer for someone to check in for the buses? Um, I know Julie uh, Russell is planning on it and has done it in the past, but uh, she probably okay. will need, she'll probably need one, one person yeah, to assist I'll, I'll be there. I'll be okay. there too. Between and John Bates will be there, so we'll, okay, we'll, we should have enough too. coverage. Yeah, board's, board's got it covered. Good. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Okay. All right. So I think I think with volunteers, we're in. Uh,
for Monday, I think we're in good shape. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Tuesday. Um, I'll have April do the photography throughout the day, um, all day long. But uh, again, particularly volunteers on this call and, and, uh, and board members. Really appreciate any cell phone pictures and social media shares that we can do to, uh, to generate around that as well. Hey, Paul, on, during the event, do you want me to um, uh, post stuff to social media and maybe put the logo on it and things like this so that way it gets a little bit of airplay? Yeah, anything you can do to help with it to you would be, be greatly appreciated. You know, like if you send, if you guys just sort of email me or text me those pictures, I can give you my number and then I can make it happen so you're not having to fool around with that when you're there. Since I can be here at like Command Central, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, I'll give them your uh, your email address. Okay. Or even text me because then I can just sort of take them. Put it, I it'll come come onto my computer. Okay. Uh, similarly, on, on Tuesday, we'll need uh, volunteers to help with the exhibitors as they come in, um, just making sure that they know where their stuff is and, and everything. And then I need one person to assist with education, um, just distribute the, the pens and notebooks, the evaluation forms, um, answer any questions and so on. And here's the thing, I'm going to be downstairs from 8 to 10. Um, with that education. So um, that is a time when there's a lot of questions. Jeff has an awful lot of experience now with, with the whole registration and, and pre-show, so I'm confident that he can handle it. But um, just so everyone knows, that's where I'm, I will be missing an action um, in terms of uh, a lot of the exhibitors will be coming in looking for me and so on. But I'll be downstairs doing an education from 8 to 10. Then uh, okay. for the registration yeah. area, um, do you think we're going to have enough, Jeff, with, with what we've got? Volunteer-wise? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I know Julie typically helps me out, so it'll be me, Julie. Who else was on that list? Um, Did you have a list of for the, for the registration or no? Um. I'll get Paul, yeah, I'll get Paul maybe and his wife to help out too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then Dave kind of, he, since since there won't be a, since we're not having a MIPA table, Steve, will, Steve typically helps too. And yeah, between Steve, Dave, Paul, and Stephanie and myself and Julie, I think we'll be, I think we'll be good. Okay. All right, good. So yeah, Kerry, Jane, I, yeah, Jane can help. And, and Ken, so, okay. Yeah, because um, they're, yeah, I mean. And I, I, do, think we'll be I good. do have customers that I want to take around, but... I oh, I'm sorry, Dean, that's right. Yeah, I forgot you were from the West. Yeah, so that... Yeah, between Steve and, and Dave and Stephanie and Paul, I think we'll be fine. Okay. I don't I typically, I typically don't have any customers in that side of the state, so, you know, I don't have... I'll, I'll be fine, but, yeah. I think we'll be okay. Okay. I think, like any show, we're going to have periods of time where it's going to be heavy, and, and then there will be some slow times, some slow time as well, so... Mm -hmm. Just have to go with the flow. Yeah, and I've only got five customers coming, so I mean, there's definitely time during the day that I'll be able to help with that different stuff too, as well Perfect. as Ken. <clears throat> okay. Well, good. Then I think, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be in in good shape. The uh, um, we already talked about the clipboards, making sure it's a non-distributor, picking those up, and and. Uh, at noon, uh, we need board members or volunteers to deliver the lunches to the exhibitors. And it's not that big of a, a show floor. Probably three or four people can can get that done. Or if we're yeah. or if we're stressed, I could probably you know just tell Meyer Gardens to do it, and they could they could take care of it. But it's a nice touch to to have that one more touch point with the uh, suppliers. 
agreed. Yeah, I'm sure that we shouldn't have any trouble getting that done. Okay. And then um, tear down. Um, <laughs> the suppliers really don't need any help with that. They're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show goes till two two o five. They're out the door. Um, they have the routine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, again, well, I, all hands on deck. All this hands on deck. Left over. Yeah. Help wherever needed. Yep. Anybody think of anything we're missing um, or that we should be talking about? No, I think... I can't think uh, of anything. I think you've got it really well covered. I think we'll be all right. I think we're all getting there in enough time Monday and Tuesday where we can kind of have a face-to-face -face meeting on the registration process and make mm -hmm. sure everyone has a firm grasp on it. So I think... I think we're... I think it's unknown because we haven't done it before, but I think it, it'll be a smooth process working with Sage. So I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Do you need any additional signage real quick? That I don't think so, T. I think um, whatever we need, we can just uh, laser print. Um, and, and we're also at, at the challenge of, uh, uh, of the, the venue being extremely particular about what, what they allow, allow out. Um, well, I'll be... I'll be around all, all, um, you know, from now until the time comes. So if something like that comes up, I'd have. Okay. Yep. I, th I think we'll oh, yeah. to see the see the badges, you know, Monday to um, get the breakdown of the alphabet. You know, and right. That, that way we can, we can kind of break it in half what it needs to be, the letters, so that you know it's not heavy in one one area. Yeah. So at that time we can make those signs. Okay. Yeah, the letters, letter C seems to be pretty popular. <laughs> okay. So we'll just do A, B, C, and then the rest of the alphabet can be yeah. one, one area. <laughs> well, like you said, I mean, a couple hundred people, you know, isn't as overwhelming as, you know, four or five either, so. Right, right. Yeah. And we've, we've got the experience from, from last year's roar, but... Um, Going to be interesting. Yeah, hopefully, to see. hopefully, it won't be as many people as were. I mean, hopefully, it will be, but I don't think it will be. Obviously, so this will yeah. be this will be a good test run for for Roar using, yeah. using this process. Yeah, it will be fantastic. Well, I appreciate right. every, everyone being on the call today and and for your feedback. And um, we'll see you all Monday. <laughs> all right. Sounds all right. good. See you all good. Okay. Thank Have you. a great week. All right. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye.